let me show you how I'm going to make my sour cream, aka creme fraiche. Uh, it's really good. Everybody should at least try this once. It's another one of my know where your food came from kind of videos. So many people just don't know basic stuff. And if you've got about two and a half, well, this is closer to three. Uh, I'm using, today, I'm, I don't always do it exactly the same, but it, this is almost three cups of, uh, just short of, yeah. It's, I'm just a little short of three cups of heavy cream. I'm, I'm just shy. I'm a, a, like a heaping quarter cup of cultured buttermilk. Cultured whole buttermilk. Don't get the light kind, the whatever, fat free. You need it to be whole cultured milk. That's my experience. If you know something else, okay. Then you just know something else than I do. But this has been working for many years. And I want to show you, I made this two days ago, and I want to show you this beautiful, I, it's, it, it tastes so good. Oh my God. It's like the best sour cream. Sorry, Daisy. Yes, I use a dollop of Daisy once in a while, but when I can, I do make this. I want you to see this. I'm trying to go up to the camera without making a mess. I hope you can see that. Hope you can see that. It's gorgeous. Look at look how thick it is. Boink. All right. So let's get to it. Give me two seconds. Move this stuff around so you can see. Let's put the lid back on this. Okay, here's all there is to it. I told you how much cream I had. I'll still have it below, like I always do. And here's my whole cultured buttermilk. I'm sure there are a million other ways to make this. Again, y'all, this is just how I make it, okay? Now, what I do have is, and I suggest, if you use cheesecloth, please don't buy that expensive, horrible crap at the grocery store. You can get this off of Amazon in different links. This is a really good quality, fine mesh uh, cheesecloth. It's also washable and reusable, okay? So, this is what I have. After I open it, it comes in a bag. I just put it in one of my favorite, you know, one of my bags. Ziploc bag. I just snipped a piece of cheesecloth, as you can see. And the leftovers that I didn't use, I'll use them another time. But you don't need that big of a piece. And boy, I really cut that crooked. So, but first things first. I'm going to pour my buttermilk in there. Get it all out. I like to get all of it. Yeah, that would have been a good, almost tablespoon, not quite. All right, and then next, you're just going to come in. I like to use my handy-dandy little ball whisk I keep. I give it a good stir. Stir all the way to the top, just to distribute it well. Let me lay that out of the way. I'll clean up the top. Might not matter, but just in case, I like to do that. Keep bacteria down. Then you're gonna come in this cheesecloth. And poof, put a rubber band on it, loosely. And there you have it. Then take this over to your stove or a nice warm spot in your kitchen wherever the warmest spot might be and what I do is if it's in the middle of the winter time my kitchen gets kind of drafty I'll even turn my oven on to about 200 for several hours to help get it going so anyway you understand just put it in a nice warm place forget about it for 24 hours and if you're like me sometimes I go a little longer than that but it's okay but what I like to do is on the second day, I eventually, within that second day, take it and put it in the fridge. You can look at it, if it's been warm enough, you can look at it after the first 24 hours, it's already going to be thickened up and even taste like sour cream. But to thicken it up all the way, like, for instance, like this, you finish it off and you put it in your fridge. And then you'll have perfect sour cream, creme fraiche. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. That's just what I'm saying. But anyway, I hope you'll try this. 
it, uh, it's amazing on your bake. Once you do this, I don't know that you'd even go back. I happen to have some recipes that I need this much, or I probably wouldn't even be doing this video in this size of a thing. Uh, you can half this easily. You could go in with uh, about three tablespoons and, you know, about two cups of sour cream in a nice clean jar. Oh, I do want to mention my jars. Here's what I do. They are sterilized in the dishwasher, but just to be sure, when I know I'm going to make this, I actually put some water in it and I microwave it for a couple of minutes and get it real hot and then I let that water cool down naturally. I don't push it, uh, you know, because of course you don't want to pull pour cold stuff into a hot glass, but Anyway, that's what I do. Uh, you can watch other videos, I'm sure. They'll tell you 10 different ways to do it. Again, as always, I'm only showing y'all what I do. And there you have it. My way of making sour cream, cream fresh. Try it. I think you'll like it. P.S. It'll keep in the fridge for, depending on your fridge, if you got a nice, good fridge, it'll easily keep three or four days. Easily. I wouldn't, fre I wouldn't freeze this, of course. This is not something you can freeze. So, only make what you're going to be able to use up in three or four days, okay? If you're going to make a lot of dip, then, a.k.a. maybe what I'm doing. <laughs> Not a.k.a., but this might be what I'm doing with this. Maybe. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you next time. I hope you'll want to just try this at least once. Take care. Bye.